IPR stands for intellectual property rights and all business owners really need to be aware um, what an IPR is and that could be in the form of um, a copyright or a particular article. For example, there may be uh, a company that did printing t-shirts and they want to maybe uh, print pictures of maybe the latest pop bands, JLS or pictures of Superman. But if someone holds the original copyright or intellectual copyright uh, of that image, it means they cannot produce it without a license or the authority to do so. So obviously IPR is a very um, diverse area and there's also the Intellectual Property Office which uh, they can go to for further advice. I own quite a bit of intellectual property. For example, my name, the name of the company, Silutions, it's my intellectual property and I own that around the world. I've used that legal framework to actually defend others who wanted to copy Silutions as a name, as a brand, effectively. I also own intellectual property with regard to a number of the programs and courses that my company has designed and delivers to our clients. It was important for us to have some control over our intellectual property. Um, we submitted an application to the Intellectual Property Office um, to trademark our company name um, as text. Um, two options we had, we could trademark the actual logo that covers the style and colour of, of our company name or we could go down the route and just trademark the, the actual company name as text. To find out more about intellectual property, you can join the British Library who have intellectual property uh, service. You can also go to the government website which is ipo.gov.uk which has uh, got lots of information all about intellectual property.